Be honest. When you open Chrome, how many tabs do you usually have running at once? From what I've seen, most people have 10, 20, 30, or more tabs running at the same time. Now, this can pose some problems. First off, these tabs become nearly impossible to navigate. It's not an efficient organization method. You're never going to find what you're looking for, and you're just going to end up in an endless cycle of opening new tabs, even when those web pages are already open, buried on some other tab. The second problem is that lots of tabs puts a big drain on your computer's processing power. The result is going to be that websites run slowly and inefficiently. So what do we do about this? Well, we can either become very disciplined about managing tabs ourselves by closing them when they're not being used and only keeping active tabs that are needed. Or we can utilize a tool to help us manage this. And my favorite tool is a Google Chrome extension called Tabs. Tabs spelled with two Bs, of course. Here's what Tabs does. By clicking on the Tabs icon or using the keyboard shortcut Command-K, I will see a drop-down list that shows one line for each tab I have open. It shows the name of the website as well as a short snippet of the URL itself and I can navigate these simply using the up and down arrows. When I'm ready to visit a site, I just press return, and off I go. It becomes very easy to navigate through all of your content now. There are lots of other features as well. For example, let's say I need to access my Science Period 1 Google Classroom all the time. I can come down to that tab and click on the pin icon to save that tab to Chrome. And what this means is, every single time I open up Chrome, that tab will be there waiting for me. It's kind of like a bookmark, but better, because the tab is already open. Of course, I can also unpin it at any time by clicking that same icon. One of the nice things is, when I pin a tab, Tabs creates a shortcut, a keyboard shortcut, that lets me get to it right away. You'll see it right next to the name of the website. Here you can see, on a Mac, it is Command-1. So if I press Command-1 right now, I'm immediately brought to that pin tab. Nice and simple. Another nice feature of tabs is the ability to give your unused tabs a rest. And they call that a tab nap. And what it does is it takes the tabs that you haven't used in a while and basically hides them in the background. And the benefit of this is they won't be using up any of your processing power. You can access a tab nap by entering the tabs drop down menu and clicking on the gear icon. Here you select tab nap, you turn it on and determine how long those tabs will be napping for. And once you do that, your unused tabs will kind of fade into the background, not using up any of your memory. It's a great way to improve performance within Chrome. Of course, within the Tabs menu, we can also do other things like quickly and easily close out tabs using the X icon next to any item, as well as muting tabs where you might have audio playing. You can download tabs for free directly from their website tabs.pro, or you can get it right on the Chrome Web Store. Once you install it, you're up and running. Definitely worth checking out.